Hi, I am Gladys. Welcome to my channel. In this video, let's see what is pin fit. Pin fit is an acronym for P type intrinsic N type field effect transistor. It is an integration of pin photodiode and fit in a single IC. Pin photodiode converts light energy into an electrical signal and it operates in reverse bias condition and the current which is produced by the pin photodiode is controlled by field effect transistor and it is a voltage control device. The voltage which is given in the gate terminal controls the current passing through it. This is the construction of pin fit. Pin fit is the combination of indium gallium arsenate pin photodiode and indium gallium arsenate fit. So first the substrate layer is formed above which lightly doped end layer and the silicon interface is formed and the pin photodiode and fit is formed above that. So let's see the step by step construction process. The first step is metal organic chemical vapor deposition. By using this method, pin fit is fabricated over semi insulating indium gallium arsenate substrate. The second step is chloride vapor phase epitaph C. By this process, indium gallium arsenate layer of low concentration of electrons is grown above the substrate. The third step is atmospheric pressure metal organic chemical vapor deposition technique. By this method, silicon interface layer is grown over the indium gallium arsenate layer. And the fourth step is iron implantation. By this process, FET is formed and it is done in series. The fifth step is deposition and diffusion. By this process, pin diode is formed. So let's see the working. First, let's see the working of pin photodiode. It consists of three regions, P type, interface and N type region. The P region and N region are heavily doped regions and a wider intrinsic layer is sandwiched between two heavily doped layers. So when light is incident, it absorbs the light photons. So when the pin photodiode is reversed by us, the majority carriers in highly doped pin type and N type move towards the junction and forms the depletion layer. So the intrinsic layer which is at the junction is undoped so it does not have any majority carrier, uh, charge carrier so the width of the depletion region increases. When the light is incident on the pin fit, the wider intrinsic layer absorbs the light energy. So the electrons and holes at the junction get some energy from the light photons and gets free and the free electrons move towards the end region and the free holes move towards the P region. These charge carriers are attracted toward the positive and negative terminals thus current is formed due to the movement of these charge carriers and the current which is formed by the pin photodiode is controlled by the fit by the voltage given at the gate terminal and as a whole this pin photodiode acts as a capacitor, the intrinsic layer acts as a dielectric layer and highly doped P and N layer acts as electrodes in the capacitor and since the distance between the electrodes are very large, the capacitance is very low and thus the noise is very low. The advantages of pin fit are wide bandwidth, low noise, high sensitivity to light, low sensitivity to temperature, low cost, small size and long lifetime. The disadvantages of pin fit are it always operates in reverse bias condition and it is light sensitive device and should not exceed the working temperature limit specified by the manufacturer if exceeded the breakdown happens. So the applications of pin fit are it is mainly used as a photo receiver in optical communication because of its low noise and high speed. It is used in optical sensor system used as repeaters in telecommunication. So thank you for watching. If you like the video please like share and subscribe.